Hey, many fish. It's the 22nd of November, 1122. And I saved this article. I was just going through all these thousands of bookmarks I have here. And this article was batched in with the uh, all the Michelangelo stuff I was doing a week or so ago. We did a bunch of stuff on this. The Michelangelo at the Met Museum. So I came back across this again. And I saved it for a reason because even then, which I wasn't really focusing on 29 much, but the official lighting of that tree is on the 29th. And this image has some stuff in it too that we can look at another time maybe. But yeah, the official tree for the Rockefeller Center, it's lit on the 29th, which is next Wednesday. The 13-ton tree is 23 meters, will be illuminated on the 29th. Oh gosh, look at this, Omega. How weird is that? So, but I saw these Michelangelo articles again, and it, and it brought me back again to the obelisks. Just because I found that one there in Los Angeles. I mean, that's just insanity. And so this one was in the same article, the same batch of folder too. So I opened them all up here. And we were talking about uh, the obelisks that were outside of the Met Museum. That's that's what I was pointing out. They refer to it as Cleopatra's Needle, but in reality, it's like a 3,500-year-old obelisk, which is a twin, and it has all kinds of writing and inscriptions on it. And they came from the city of Heliopolis, which basically is the city of the sun. Okay? This is, this is important to the occult world. The, the, these Satanists, these are their little monuments, their trophies, their little pushpins in the Google map. That's what they are. And so I'm drawn back to this and this again. And what it did was cause me to go to the maps. Because that's just what I do. Okay? Now, this green line right here, there's that one in Central Park. Here's the Met Museum. And here's that obelisk right there. Cleo's Needle, they call it. And this line goes smack dab exactly to the Washington Monument. Like, right to it. Okay? And that would be this line right here. Yes. And that line is 209 miles. And not only that, it's at a heading of 232 degrees. That doesn't show on here for some reason. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So I type it in when I make the line. Um, yeah, so there's my 29. And then obvious, right away I'm like, okay, I know how these masons, these builders, this, I know how they operate. So where there's a line that's established for a purpose, well, then there's got to be something built off of that line. There's not going to be just a line and it's just going to be left as a line. They have to have another purpose, another meaning that's built off of that line. It's how they operate. So I take the 209 miles and I go in either direction. Equilateral, you know what I mean? Equidistant triangle out 209 miles. And it winds me out in Pennsylvania out here in nothing land. It's there literally, it just lands, there's nothing there. I go out to the ocean, I'm thinking there's probably nothing here either. But I was wrong. I got to turn on the little labels and stuff here, the little places and whatnot. Look at this. Right in between War Canyon and Phoenix Canyon. And I know a lot of people were talking about with the iPhone X, the Phoenix. And, and I'm on board with that. I just, as far as putting it all together, that's like obviously a job for God. You know, he just shows us things that, prove to us that we are in fact dealing with a very worthy adversary that has been working in the dark for millennia people you got to remember that millennia so what would that even mean i can't tell you this is just the way the world is laid out it's all like this big lie it's like 
yeah, there's truth in it. We're here. We love each other. We feel, we live, we see beauty, but it's a contaminated system, people. It just is. And I want to show you some things regarding New York that I've discovered over these last few months. I, I did some videos probably eight, nine months ago on this. Not many, though, and they're probably really bad. But nonetheless, there are some things in here, in New York here, that will just blow your socks off. And one of them, I just want to show you this one, so it'll kind of like get you in the understanding of where I'm going to be going with this at some point. Just this image here from Google Earth. If we come into this lower bay area, you know, we see like this pitchfork dock there, which that's a trident. That's what that is. And we can find very many little things. This is how Satan's world works. We have a place here called Sandy Hook. But I just want you to look at this. That is a serpent. That's what it is. There's an eye. There's the other eye sticking out there. It's the nose, mouth. There's the nostril right there at Sandy Hook. Remember, we're dealing with Google Maps here, people. This is the beast. But this right here is very important. And this one is just so cute. They make it almost impossible to believe. But he's there, folks. And I just want you to look. There's where, where the little hand is. That's an eye. And that's an eye. This is the top of his head like the hair. This is an ear over here. Okay? This is the bottom of the chin and the mouth. And this is his nose. You see him? Eye, eye, nose, chin and mouth. Up here is his ear. Do you see him? I certainly hope you do because he's there and he's important. We can come in a little closer and you can even make out his little horns. That's a little devil, folks. A cute little devil. And he's got a big old grin on his face. That's what it is, people. Go to Google Earth and look for yourself right here in the lower bay of New York Harbor. And that's where I'm going to leave this one, you guys. Because there is some stuff that will just absolutely blow your mind going on here. Between the Statue of Liberty. Oh my goodness, it goes on and on and on. But it's extremely interesting and important. And it's important because it illustrates to those who may not understand who their adversary is or that they even have an unseen adversary battling for their very soul. This can be very helpful because this is what brought me to understand who we're dealing with. You know, and it makes things a lot easier, let me tell you, because it takes the load off. It surely does. You are free to fight as you will, and he provides you with the weaponry. But I wanted to show you that and uh, wish you all a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Much love to all of you in peace and grace. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 